December 10th, 2011, and I'm here to talk to you about what a lunar eclipse is, and I thought it was very interesting to do this talk right now as the lunar eclipse is going on. Since I am an astrologer, I'm going to give you the astrological view of a lunar eclipse. The astronomy view of an eclipse is very interesting. It's a full moon in essence, and really what's happening is you have the earth in between the moon and the sun, and it's stuck right in between. It's the biggest full moon you could really ever dream of. It's happening in Sagittarius in Gemini right now, and what does that mean for you? Sagittarius is go big or go home. It's where we expand, it's where we grow, it's really where we get truly spiritual. It's our belief structure. It's where we really expand. Gemini is where the moon's at. And what's interesting is whenever we have a lunar eclipse, the moon is where we really don't want to go, okay? The moon really lures us in emotionally since lunar is moon and moon represents emotions. It represents the past. It's the dark energy. It's really where we don't want to go. And Gemini is the small stuff. It's the facts. It's the details. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. And this lunar eclipse for you is all about expanding, going big, getting out of the small details. It's all about seeing the big picture. And it's interesting because Sagittarius and Gemini are both immutable signs. Well, mutable means changeable. So we are all literally about to change. Not only does Gemini represent the mind, um, Sagittarius does as well. They both, even though they are polar opposites, have similarities as well, which is the mind, how we really process things. I like to look at Gemini as the quick witty, whereas I like to look at Sagittarius as the ever-expanding, all-knowing. And really it's not about any every little detail in your life. It's all about looking big. Go big or go home here, and your mind is going to really trigger you. I'm sure when you're watching this video and you look back at this lunar eclipse, you were emotionally distraught, your mind was playing a game with you, and maybe there was some communication that was upsetting you, there was something that was really, really getting to the core of your mind, really a battle of your mind, really emotionally going somewhere that you, you don't want to go. And this eclipse was all about getting you to see the big picture in yourself. Now depending on what sign you are, and of course the astrology for yourself, that is pinpointed in a certain area. I also want to talk about Gemini, where the moon is, and how really our attitude can be affected by this. Gemini rules attitudes. Gemini rules how we communicate. It rules mind, like I've said. But the most important is our attitude needs adjusting with the moon, and we really need to change the way our attitudes are. And in essence, that is by going on the opposite side where the sun is, by illuminating and brightening up our bigger picture. When it comes to Sagittarius, it's hope and optimism as well. And it's all about finding that hope and optimism. And I'm sure at the end of the day, everybody will find that. This is a turning point in your life. The eclipse represents a turning point. The full moon is really the culmination of the cycle. It's the, it's, the, it's the peak of the cycle, and at that peak is where we turn. It's where we finally receive the new and let go of the old. So it's all about coming into this new change, new attitudes, expanding your horizons as far as you can really go, letting go of just what doesn't work anymore, which in essence is our bad attitudes, which is how our mind can take us over. Scientifically, the moon is getting a shadow from the earth, and it's like this is the only way for the universe to communicate with us in such a physical manner. We actually see it. Whereas you don't get to see it in most astronomy. I mean, we get to see the planets if you have a telescope. We see the moon in, when it goes through its phases. But you don't get to see a show like this where the moon actually changes color. It is like a magical experience happening. That's why 
old ancient civilizations talk about the eclipses as being almost like a doom and gloom period as you know they used to predict this as a time of you know really like check yourself before you wreck yourself you know and that's what it's all about it's the universe's way of saying it's really time to pay attention here this is a moment of where we have to really pay attention and isn't it ironic that it's happening right before 2012 i mean we just had a solar eclipse two weeks ago that's where the sun and the moon come together that's when the moon comes in between the sun and earth and the moon comes in front of the sun to shadow the moon and our view and that's actually a very positive experience solar eclipses are basically new moons so it's when the sun and the moon come together or conjunct that's when two planetary alignments happen in the same spot and a solar eclipse is where we really ask the universe what we want to manifest it's where our, our emotions and our awareness come together whereas right now they're opposing lunar eclipses where it's the battle between man and woman positive and negative light and dark that's what a lunar eclipse is a full moon it's an ancient theology and in ancient civilizations this is the moment of brace yourself and this is what it's all about and it's exciting that it's happening right before 2012 with a solar eclipse within the, the same two week period which is rare and it's happening where we need to expand and grow and we need to go into 2012 in a positive hopeful experience that's what this is all about this lunar eclipse is literally the spot where you really need to consciously let go of whatever that may be. I also need to mention that Uranus goes direct right now. It's going direct right now, December 10th, the same time as the lunar eclipse. Now, what does that mean? Uranus represents freedom, radicalism, change electricity though it's 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 aquarius it's the rebel it, whenever wherever, uh uranus comes through it just comes through and changes everything out with the old and only in with the new and if it's not new sorry why do you think every aquarius is so cool is because they like things on a new way and it's interesting that uranus has been retrograde for so long and that during this lunar eclipse we're also being told not only to let go of our mind games and expand our horizons, but radically change the people we are because Uranus is in Aries, which is ego, self, identity, the start. And the last time Uranus was in Aries was 1929. That's right when the stock market crashed and then we went into a world war. But most importantly, it was when humanity um, and the individuals itself changed who they were and radically changed and that's where we're at so not only do you need to follow what the lunar eclipse does but because there's a planet changing during the lunar eclipse that is of highlight as well and you need to change the person you are everybody needs to change the person they are and I'm not saying a slow change like, let's say, the planet Pluto. You need to radically change. So it's time for you to radically try something out new, become a new person, and most importantly, find that freedom in yourself. Pay attention to what's happening up there because it's really influencing what's happening right here. We're here at the lunar eclipse. It's December 8th going on to December 9th, 2011. Uh, I it's had 9th a going on to 10th. See, I don't even know what's going on. It's Mercury retrograde. I'm, I'm out of it, but that's why I got David here. Anyways, I think you guys really enjoyed with what he presented to you. And now we're going to give you hopefully great images of the lunar eclipse happening and going through its cycle. Anyways, enjoy and enjoy all the footage we get you.
So that, my friends, was the lunar eclipse. I hope you enjoyed I hope I edited it well so you actually get to see it in the way I got to see it. Uh, I believe everything is going to go clear. There will be some um, blurry images a little bit because there was cloud cover that was getting in the way and I really couldn't do much with that. Anyways, enjoy. Leave me your comments and let me know what you think. Bye.